HDB in Singapore is haunted by missing feet. The block is 114 in Geylang Lorong 3. A gruesome murder occurred in the block where the boyfriend of a lady wanted to steal her money so he brutally murdered her. He chopped her body into seven parts but the police were not able to discover the feet. It is believed that the feet is still in the block and residents sometimes hear footsteps and even see figures in the lift. The unit is still unoccupied but trail seekers go there and even do prayers over there for luck. So this thing has scared pretty much every member of our staff like a dozen times because one week she'll be sitting somewhere and then management will move her and not tell anybody. So I went to get into the shower room and opened the door to that and about jumped out of my skin. Here's a video of Walt Disney's ghost. So in the video, a tourist is filming the Disneyland fireworks show. When they got home, they were reviewing videos from their trip and noticed something creepy about the fireworks show video. There was a figure standing on top of the castle in all gray watching the fireworks show. Check it out. Also follow my TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube for more content. Before she can even enter the laundry room, she can be seen pausing, and the audio from the clip makes it clear as to why. A voice can be heard desperately pleading for help, though it's unclear as to where the voice is coming from clearly disturbed and worried it could have been someone hiding around her property the woman would end up calling the police i looked around i didn't see anybody out on the road or any cars or anything so i went back to my ring video to make sure i wasn't just I mean, it's a long time long time. hearing something I posted it on there. The police would search the whole property, but find absolutely nothing. And to this day, it's still unclear whose voice was talking, or even where it was coming from. They call it Blood Cemetery. Formerly known as Pine Hill Cemetery, Blood Cemetery is located off of a country road in New Hampshire. It is considered one of the most haunted cemeteries in the state. It was established on land donated by Benjamin Parker Jr. in 1769. The namesake is derived from the Blood family buried here, mainly Abel Blood who is responsible for the hauntings. Sources have claimed that while strolling the cemetery after dark, the hand pointing upward on Abel's stone would point down. Despite online claims, the Blood family all died in natural manners and were not slain in any tragic event, but that's not to say that the ghostly apparition of a young blood boy will not flag your car down for a visit. Let's explore the Conjuring House. The middle bedroom used to be Cindy's room, and it's one of the most haunted locations in the entire house. There wasn't a night that went by that she wasn't tormented. She'd wake up in the middle of the night to people standing around her bed. They whispered the same thing over and over again. Would you go in the closet and find out? I'm going to be telling you about some famous hauntings at Disneyland. The room above the firehouse used to be Walt Disney's apartment. Employees have had many strange paranormal experiences in there. It is said to be haunted by Walt Disney himself. A man named Ralph came to me when I went into the firehouse. There is also a ghost woman seen in white helping lost children find their way. The ghost of a woman named Dolly haunts the Matterhorn. She died on the ride. There have also been many ghost sightings on and near the castle. Disneyland is also a popular place for people to spread their deceased loved ones' ashes. Tom Sawyer's Island has reports of ghost children running and playing at night. We're all 
all familiar with this iconic Hocus Pocus house, yeah? Well, there is a much darker history than drinking ciders and bobbing for apples at Allison's annual Halloween party. Many generations of the Ropes family lived in this mansion, and a few died here, some more tragically than others. In 1839, Abigail Ropes stood a little too close to the fireplace, and her dress caught on fire. To this day, many who visit the Ropes mansion have seen Abigail still roaming the halls. I can't be the only one who thinks it's ironic that the Ropes mansion has suffered from two fire-related incidents since Abigail's tragedy. But, on a positive note, if you're visiting Salem, the garden behind the Ropes mansion is a perfect spot to relax. Are you a fan of oddities? Would you like to see something strange? Follow us at the Twisted Kingdom for a look at some of the greatest anatomical wonders ever seen by human eyes. Okay, so this is the most supernatural thing that has ever happened to me. Two years ago during Hungry Ghost Festival at 7pm, me, my friend and her younger sister wanted to go in Mukata together. So we wanted to jaywalk, so we crossed the road and reached the grassy part of the pavement where the younger sister fell down. We realised that the younger sister fell on one of the prayer candles. This is when things started to get freaky. At first, the younger sister got up laughing and being normal and then suddenly her face started to become very pale, her eyes rolled back, her hands started twisting and her lips started to lose all its colour. She started shaking vigorously and we didn't know what to do, we started crying and I ran to get a metal object. When I came back with the spoon, she already fell to the ground and my friend was telling me she was mumbling something. When we brought her to the doctor, the doctor said everything was fine with her. When we reached home, the first thing we did is went to the prayer room. Did you know that Chris Watts, the man who killed his entire family in 2018, has seen his daughter's spirit in his jail cell? In the book Letters from Christopher, author Sherilyn Cattle claims that she received a letter from Chris where he details seeing his daughter in a dream in his jail cell. In this dream, he claims to have seen his daughter Cece dancing on the chair next to his bed in the cell. And he claims that while he saw her dancing in the jail cell, the folders and other items he had sitting there started to move by themselves. In the same book, he also claims to have talked to his dead wife, who he murdered on the phone from prison. There are multiple articles talking about this happening online, and it's also reported that the only things he's allowed to have in his cell are photos of his family and a Bible. He's also stated in the past that he hopes to be reconnected with his family one day, but I don't know if that's going to happen. If you want to hear more of the paranormal claims surrounding the Watts murders, go listen to my podcast, Murder in America. Our episode is an hour and 20 minutes long, and we go super in-depth in the case file. And I guarantee if you listen to our podcast, you'll learn new things that you've never heard or seen before. Did you know that Tiny Tim's Tea Room is allegedly the most haunted building in Canterbury? Back in the 1980s, the tea room was a Chinese restaurant and it was really badly damaged in a fire. When the repair work was being carried out, the repairman accidentally uncovered the mummified remains of three children and also found multiple bags of teeth and hair belonging to children behind the panelling in the walls. They found most of the teeth and hair behind this fireplace on the second floor. The bodies, teeth and hair were removed for examination and when the bodies were examined they were found to have belonged to three children who died of cholera in the Middle Ages. In 1991 a local historian decided to stay the night and ended up fleeing in fear because he heard children chanting a prayer that was traditionally said over those who were dying of the plague. In the early 2000s builders heard children running around the building, running up and down the stairs and their tools kept going missing and showing up in that same fireplace. Think your family is a nightmare? Is it worse than being cursed for multiple generations? What if you deserved it? Mercy Dale was living in Braintree, Massachusetts in 1798 when her daughter, Silence, married William Hayden and moved to Albany, Vermont. All was well at first. William had purchased so much property that money became an issue and he looked to his mother-in-law, Mercy, for financial help with the promise of repayment. The repayment never occurred. He continued to live a lavish lifestyle while neglecting Mercy and failing to repay her. Mercy's health started to decline with a belief that William was poisoning her. Nearing the end in 1808, she cursed the Hayden name. The Hayden name shall die in the third generation and the last to bear the name shall die in poverty. She refused to be buried in the Hayden family plot. The family brushed off the curse as long as they could until they started dying one after another from illness and age until the final daughter mammy had been left she moved away in shame and poverty and died in 1927 the curse was complete 
Hey guys, this is not a Chinese ghost story, but a real incident that is so creepy, which took place in July 2010 in Taiwan. Here's an actual footage of the elevator. One day, a grandpa wanted to go to the seventh floor. He accidentally pressed a button for sixth floor. When the door opened, a female dead body fall directly on him. The body is deteriorating and looks dark. The grandpa had to process this for 20 minutes and then drag the body together with him to the first floor. You might think that might be one of the most creepy things that can ever happen to a person. What's more creepy is about how the person actually died on the sixth floor. Similar to the grandpa, a neighbor entered the wrong floor. This floor is privately owned. The owner of sixth floor not only blocked all the gates and window, he also built a fence between the wall and the rest of the property. This lady was stuck in there for a whole week without any food or water. The button is around the corner, but she cannot reach. And the emergency button is not working anymore. The original owner did this to prevent thieves from entering this room. When this woman accidentally entered this floor, when she tried to get back, it's already too late. She cannot even sit down during the seven days. She yelled, but nobody heard her. There is a ghost story based on this true incident. People say it was a lady who pressed a button for grandpa to find her. She died in pain, hunger, desperation, and torture. I've seen some scary shit. This might take the cake. This was included in Nuke's Top 5's newest video, so if you want to see the original, go check it out. But this is Alex. He is a Russian man who has been experiencing a bunch of paranormal activity in his apartment, so he's going to move out. He sets up a camera in his kitchen before he leaves for the night, and you are not going to believe what he catches. Goosebumps. Goosebumps. And this is precisely where I shat my pants. Dude, look in the doorway. Look in the doorway. There's a set of legs with no torso. And then they're gone. Every hair on my body is standing up. What is that? Hey, Alex, I heard you like to party. <laughs>